Also new at 11, first seeds from China, now some mysterious masks. People in Connecticut and other parts of the country are getting a surprise shipment in the mail that they didn't order. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio has been digging into the story. She has uh, more details for us live right now. Patricia. Hi, Mark. Well, yes, I spoke to two different people this happened to in Connecticut, and they say it is creepy to get packages they didn't order that have their full name, their address, their cell phone number, and now they're concerned about their personal information spreading around out there. I opened up the mailbox, and I saw this package. And I said, oh, I wonder what this could be. So I said, geez, I wonder if it's those seeds that are coming from China. So I opened it up, and lo and behold, there were these KN95 mass. So I, right away, I went like that and I dropped it. And I said, man, I gotta go wash my hands. So Donnie DiLoretto reenacts the moment he received a package of KN95 masks in the mail at his Rocky Hill home on Tuesday. The package is shipped directly from China, 10 masks with a value it says of $20. But the problem is he never ordered them. I've never ordered anything online to do with masks or sanitizer or anything concerned with the coronavirus. He's not alone. Eyewitness News received these photos from Thomas Hines in Wolcott. He too got a package the same day of disposable face masks from China but from a different company. Then today he got knockoff Ray-Ban sunglasses in the mail and he didn't order any of these things either. Is a name for this scam. It's called brushing. The Federal Trade Commission has this statement on its webpage. You might have read about the brushing scam. In this one, somebody sends you stuff unordered because it lets them give themselves a great review in your name. It could mean that the scammers have created an account in your name or taken over your account or even created new accounts in other names tied to your address, letting them post lots of seemingly real reviews. The more positive reviews these companies get, the more people are likely to buy their products and the more likely they are to appear on Internet searches. But it's all a scam. It's happened in Salt Lake City, all over the country, and to this woman in Norfolk, Virginia. It really worries me because people are able to get your information from your previous orders and things that you make online. Back in Connecticut, Donnie says he doesn't order much online and has no idea how they got his info, but it's out there nonetheless. That's, that's the scary part about it too. The Federal Trade Commission says the items are yours to keep, even if you didn't order them, but the most important thing they say is to change your password on various sites you might have ordered from in the past, and you might want to Google your name and address and see if fake reviews show up. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.